My name is Reverend Dr. Renee Jackson, and I am the Southeast Area Minister with the Michigan Conference of the United Church of Christ, and I come to bring you a faith for thought. Our Christian tradition is rich with deep theological thought. From the earliest pioneers of our faith, Christians have analyzed, argued, critiqued, encouraged, and inspired both followers and those seeking their own spiritual footing. Prophetic voices of the Hebrew Bible sought to remind their audiences of their covenant with the God who delivered them from oppression. Jesus' disciples, empowered by the Holy Spirit, planted the seeds of a burgeoning faith movement that continued to resemble the tree that grew from a mustard seed. Because of their faith and obedience, the seeds of what would become the Christian church grew beyond anyone's imagining, anyone's except God's, that is. The gospel message has spread to virtually every corner of the globe, and the Holy Spirit continues to teach and guide women and men and boys and girls into relationship with Jesus Christ. And because our God is so vastly amazing, our ability to grasp the depth, height, and breadth of God falls short, humbling even the best minds among us. Theologians such as Augustine and Tertullian, Anselm, Bonhoeffer, and Tillich engage the teachings of Jesus in profound ways. Their thoughts continue to inspire students of theology to reflect deeply, to dare to ask questions that even branded them as heretics who would be expelled from the church. And whether we agree with their courses of thought or not, we can thank them for challenging and shaping the way that we worship, pray, and live out our faith. All of the great theologians began their quest with someone who taught them, just as Paul wrote of Timothy having learned from his mother and grandmother. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., Dr. Cornell West, Dr. Michael Eric Dyson, Dr. Howard Thurman, Dr. Emily Towns, Dr. Katie Cannon, the Reverend Jarena Lee, and the Reverend Zilpha Elaw, and Bell Hooks, just to name a few, all revealed aspects of God that invite each of us to continue to reflect on our spiritual journeys. Their courage to speak the questions that we hid in our hearts help us to be more authentic in our faith. Their prophetic witness to present the state of the world as God may see it to people who are entangled in various forms of oppressive systems stirs up the spirit of truth that ignites our spirits toward liberating action. I sometimes wonder about the future of the church. Do you? Where are the theologians of tomorrow? Where are those prophetic voices that will challenge and correct God's people? They may just be in your Sunday school class, in your Bible study, your book group. The church may be yearning for that girl or boy in your youth group or choir. Maybe they are in the house down the street or next door. Perhaps you will encounter them on a mission trip. It could even be you. If you are a teacher, keep teaching and preparing even if the students don't show up every time. If you are a student, keep studying and asking questions even if you don't get answers. Keep wondering and praying and thinking and questioning. The opportune time may arrive when you least expect it. It's been said that when the student is ready, the teacher will appear. So let us be ready 
prepared to receive the theologians and mystics and prophets that God sends us. The church is depending on us.